All right, guys, so we're here in the Cisco headquarters, and um, this is a little tour of their telepresence teleconferencing room. We're waiting for my other classmates and the engineer to show up. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Nice. Where's my phone? Yeah. <laughs> Pick anything you like. No, no, no. I don't have this phone. Okay. I have, I have the 7960. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah. We have more than yeah. Panasonic. <laughs> no. Yeah, we do. Uh, we're and and we're and because we know that uh, we're almost holding the funds that we have. Yeah, we're still <laughs> yeah. so, so my classmates are having fun seeing themselves on TV. I do myself. Okay, just my own house. Oh, this one. I have like 10 different iPhones. Let's see if I can get into the picture. Yep. The green monster there. Heather Heine. Are we ready? Yes. We're ready. Okay. So we're all yours. All right, thank you. So we're going to start from here. Uh, group. So welcome again. Uh, my name is Ricky Elias. I'm one of the uh, demo engineer here. Now, this is our collaboration lab. So uh, in this room, we're showing our latest collaboration solutions. So that ranges you know, from uh, mobile collaborations desktop collaborations and video conferencing. Okay, so uh, what I plan to do today is to kind of take you through a day in the life experience, okay, where, uh, how you use collaborations when you're away from office, when you're on the go, and when you get to the office, how do you collaborate with people inside the organizations or maybe outside the organizations. Okay? And uh, feel free to stop me anytime when you have, uh, if you have any questions. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start from here. Do you, you have any questions before we start? No. no? Okay. <coughs> so, let me start with mobile collaborations. Uh, I'm going to get set up here. Cool. And, uh, can, can we take video of uh, Video, yes. I think you can, yeah. So, how many of you have iPhones? Uh, yeah. Android? Android. <laughs> and Dress Blackberry. So, almost all different kinds of devices. There you go. So we see the same trend actually today uh, in the workplace with people coming in with all those uh, smartphones that they have and they want to be able to collaborate. So what we've done uh, over the past few uh, years, we kind of like uh, create a unified uh, collaborations tool, a piece of software we call Jabber. And it's based on standard protocol, XMPP. So we can do, uh, you know, we can, we can chat, uh, we can do voicemail. Uh, we have presence information. That means I know your availability status. Okay, and then we get access to corporate directory. So what I have here uh, for my uh, quick demo, so I have a Jabber client and on this uh, on the iPhone, it's right there, it's a Jabber, uh, Jabber client. Now, we, we can take a scenario that I'm, uh, I'm outside the office right now, or maybe at a coffee shop, just having a meeting with my customers, and I need something to follow up. I want to connect back to somebody who's in the office. Okay? And the first thing I could, I could do is I connect to my hotspot, the Wi-Fi hotspot. And I can start my VPN, which is, you know, to start my secure connectivity back into the office. Right. And then from there, I can go ahead and launch my Jabber client. And the Jabber client allows me to see who's available in the office. You see the little boxes uh, to the left of the, of the username? Okay, uh, it's in orange right now. So that person is uh, it's not available, it's idle. So Matt, as an example here, if I move the mouse from Matt, it will turn into green. Okay, so now I know that Matt is available. Okay, so I can go ahead and probably start a check, uh, check uh, collaborations from there. I want to see if Matt is available. So I can call. Okay, and Matt's back in the office. Uh, Matt is using the same piece of software, the Jabber client, which has the same functionality. And then from there, I can go ahead and uh, start a conversation with Matt. <coughs> so I'm dial uh, the number right there. 
Now I have the options whether I want to use voice over IP, which is over the Wi Fi, or, or I want to use GSM. Okay, in this case, I'm going to use voice over IP. Okay, and you dial over the Wi Fi connections, and I'm having a conversation right now with Matt in the office, and I'm talking to him through voice over IP. Okay. What is the difference between this and Skype? Uh, okay, so the difference between this and Skype, you, you probably see more as we, as we go along. Okay, one of the things that uh, we do, uh, we pack a lot of features there for collaboration purpose. So not just voice conversations, you have video, you have uh, web collaboration on WebEx. Okay, and then you probably see more as, as we go along, and then we can come back to that question. Okay. So from here, I'm done with, uh, with my cup of tea, my cup of coffee. I need to walk away uh, from the wireless hotspot. I need to drive back into the office. And I want to keep the conversation going. So what, what I can do from here, I can transfer my call to my GSM. I'm going to say, use mobile network. Right, here's my mobile network. So I'm sending a request back to the office, and I, I tell my uh, communication manager this, uh, to link that conversation back. And now I'm picking up the phone call on my GSM. And I continue the conversation with Matt. And then to Matt, this is transparent. Okay, he doesn't know whether I'm using voice over Wi Fi or voice over GSM. Okay, so it's transparent to me. Really? Because then your, your voice over IP must be pretty poor quality if you can't tell it from GSM. <laughs> it depends on the uh, voice over IP today because Edo 11 n the uh, pretty widely is uh, deployed today, so there's plenty of bandwidth in Edo 11 n And are you using SIP protocol for a voice over? Uh, yes, we use using SIP protocol. Now to continue from here, I say get to the office and I walk over to my desk, that's my desk one right here. Okay? So what I can do here, I can just hang up, and my desk one will have this little feature turn on, so resume. Go ahead and press resume. And now I have video collaborations within these two phones. And then you have video from your iPhone? Uh, yes. For iPhone, we're still working with Apple, yeah. Okay. To be able to get the video. Okay, so that's kind of to show you in terms of flexibility you have. You can start up a conversation with the Wi Fi and then be able to, uh, to choose whichever way you want to collaborate. Okay. So we use this in our daily lives. So at home, I could be starting up a WebEx conversation at 8 o'clock. And then I need to make my way back into the office. I can still continue on by transferring into the GSM and then get to the office. I can continue on to my desk. Okay. Any, any questions so far? The handover is not seamless. You've got to hang up and then transfer. Yeah, so the, ha uh, the handover today, uh, there are two options, right? We can do it automatically. But most of the time, uh, it's better for the user to have the control. So when they want to choose, they want to transfer. Because if you rely on the network, sometimes, uh, you know, the hotspot is not so reliable, okay, so you may have a uh, call drop, as an example. Okay, so. so the quality drop it doesn't automatically hang something and transfer across to GSM? Uh, it doesn't do that today. So we need to it will. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to move on. Uh, since I'm now back in my desk, I'm in the office right now. So I have the same, I'm going to switch the, the screen back here. So you can follow from the, uh, from the big screen back here. So now I have the same piece of client here, the Jabber client. I can uh, I can do my collaborations right off these applications, or I can start my collaborations from another different applications, like email, as an example. Right. Now we have an integration with like Microsoft uh, Outlook. So as an example here, I receive an email, and I want to talk to Dave. This is Dave, and he's idle right now. If I move the mouse here, that's my chance to greet him. So I know that Dave is available. Now, instead of me sending a reply over email, it's going to take some time. And then Dave might be you know, busy and then uh, he'll reply later. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, collaborations. Or, or maybe let me choose. Okay. Uh, I want to choose that, that one.